All right, so how do we get that yard that's getting rained on all these beautiful greeneries? It's just taking us over. How do we make it look all manicured and beautiful again? Our expert, Tom Toth, Prescott True Value. Great to have you with us, Tom. I'm not sure I'm an expert. Yeah. You are. You have all the magic tools for us to do the I, job. Yeah, we do. We do. <laughs> Where do know, we start? We I talked mean, about you know the monsoons before and the growth yeah. that we're getting with weeds and, and your bushes are growing and you get you know seedlings coming out of the ground and you need to take yeah. care of that and maintain it. Not only just because um, you want it to look good, but to manicure it for the fire season and things like that that might exactly. come up later. Because and when it dries know, out, they had it. Yeah. Yeah, so that's going to be an issue. So, a couple things we're going to talk about is how to do that. And one of the first things I start with is a weed killer. And oh. this is my favorite one here. It's called uh, Kills All. And it's a concentrate mix that you put into either a hose end sprayer that we're talking about, okay. or you put it into a pump sprayer. It lasts quite a while. Um, so you, yeah, you do mix it then with water. You mix so it with it's, water, it's, correct. Okay. Yeah, with one of these right here, this is kind of a cool little instrument. Is you hook it to the end of your hose nozzle, and it uh, mixes. You put your mix in here, uh -huh. and then it mixes with water, and you spray it. So if you have a large area that you're trying to oh, do, cool. that's a good way to do it. So automatically, your hose water will automatically put the water in there. Correct. And stuff. Wow, yeah, this nice. does up to 100 okay. gallons. So wow. you got plenty of growth there. If you want something simpler, you just use an old-fashioned pump sprayer. I didn't bring one, but you, I think everybody knows what they are. Um, yeah. A lot of okay, people pump like, them up. <laughs> a lot of people <laughs> like fun. Roundup, which you can use Roundup as well. Uh -huh. um, and they make battery-powered ones now where you take the nozzle out and it has a battery in it, so you can just spot your weeds. So if you just have a few, like my oh, house, I have got rocks. So uh -huh. in the rocks, the weeds pop up, so I just use the roundup. Just in between, and right. Spot the weeds and it kills them off. Because those are impossible to pull. If you try to pull them, they just don't, it doesn't work. Well, and if you have landscape netting below it, what will happen oh. is you'll pull that netting up and oh, then it'll right. start to expand more and you'll have more weeds. Real growing. problems. So, right. yeah. Okay. A um, couple things I brought that I think are interesting to use, and I'm, you know, a lot of people use uh, power trimmers that are gas mm -hmm. and, or electric, and we got some new ones in that are cordless. So they're battery operated. Um, really? So this happens to be a cordless trim by Milwaukee right here. It operates off an 18 volt battery and it has the self feed head. You were talking about that before where it yes. tends to get tied up and whatnot. Uh -huh. Well, that self feeds itself. So automatically, as it gets worn off, then it, it just replaces it out. Oh, yeah. that is so great because mine's like a tapper and then it right. doesn't come out. I have to like pull it out myself. Yeah, then you have and to go get a new bottom replacement for it. What that, yeah. That. This, this is a great trimmer. It'll last about an hour. Hour and a half, depending on what you're cutting, on a one battery charge. That's about so, all you can stand a weed whacking anyway. Right. Now this is really long, Tom. Is there a real advantage to that? It's well, got a good the good benefit hold of here, the, you know? the straight shaft is that the straight shaft will has a, a, a gear in here where it, versus a curve shaft like you used to yeah. see. So the curve shaft has it with a uh, like a cable, if you will. This has a uh, shaft actually in it that goes all the way through here to there. So if you're oh, getting okay. on a brush or if you're, you're uh, um, trying to get by on our fences and whatnot, that works a lot better. And yeah, it's, it's more, like an it's extended thing, and also it keeps it away from your legs and feet. There's nothing worse right. than getting like the blowbacks, you know, cutting your Absolutely. legs up. And so. that's one thing, too, I want to talk about is it's important to wear protection. Uh -huh. you know, whether it's my sunglasses or if it's a full headgear, it's important to wear that because if you're, especially if you're doing it rocks or dirt or you know debris like right. that, it'll spit back up into your face and, and you don't want to have that. And long pants eyes. and covered toes, that yeah, kind of thing is, is really a smart thing to do too. Well, this is so fabulous, the battery operated thing, and then you just recharge it. Right. And put it back on, use it again because with the cord, I, I have a cord one. I'm always trying to keep the cord from whacking, you know, like or, I hate or cutting gas my cord. And you use a gas yeah. for. Um, you know, maybe one season and then it goes bad and you put it in your, your trimmer and yeah. then your trimmer gets clogged up so you have to go get it repaired with the mm -hmm. diaphragm and the stuff in there. So I, I like Great the project. idea. I actually have one of these and I, and I love it. You're using And this is a uh, blower, the same thing. My wife, uh, you know, she's a little petite thing and uh, she likes the little blower to blow off the patio. So this is a great way to do oh, it. Oh, it's just a small it's size. It's a small size oh, 40, nice. 40 volt uh, blower that you can easily hold around and not have to worry about you know the heavy weight and again the gas and the cords dragging around and all that stuff. Because right. invariably know. when you're whacking and you're mowing and all this kind of stuff you're going to have debris that gets in areas, the right. sidewalks and everything right. you don't want it in. Or rocks where you can't sweep it off. So exactly. the blowing is, that's a really good thing. And the other thing you know too is I talked about um, brush and, and stumps and things like that. This is a, a brush and stump killer. Oh. So if you want to get rid of those little seedlings that are coming up or you want to get rid of the uh, unwanted 
plants that are around your house, right. this is a good way to do it. Or if you have a stump, a tree that you cut down that was dead that you sure. wanted to get rid of. Because um, those are real woody and you just, you can't get them out sometimes. Yeah, what this does is it goes, you drill a couple holes in the stump, goes in through the um, system, systemically, yeah. and it helps eliminate that and then it rots out and you can pull it out easier. Oh, that is amazing. Be careful with that. I know she mentioned protection. Yep. These are like Darth Vader gloves. I'm those loving these, Tom. Tell those me are about. Carhartt gloves. They're heavy-duty, rubberized neoprene, and they uh, they wear quite well because they have a nice insulated filter in them here, or not filter, but... Uh, right, but it looks like they're kind of aerated a little bit on they, the they top, are aerated, too. They yes. So, so you don't, you sweat don't get sweaty, much. right. But, but you man, can those still are... grip. You know, the problem I have with gloves like this mm -hmm. is I can't grip a lot of things. So oh, if I'm holding right. on to things like that, you know, they're either floppy or they get they're little bulky. moisturized. Yeah, they're bulky. Yeah. Where these are kind of um, comfort fit to your size. And the, with the grips that they have on them, they, they work wonderfully well. Well, it's nice, too, because I'm always, uh, you know, in between everything, pulling wet weeds or whatever, and those get all waterlogged. Right. But these would just, they wouldn't get wet. I mean, that's a fabulous no, thing. Yeah, it's, yeah, they're great. There's a lot of new different gloves, not just Carhartt, but there's a lot of different ones out there that you can use. Right. The other thing you want to talk about is when you ever start doing a project outdoors, with whether you're trimming grass or you're pulling weeds, you're going to start getting bugs out. Oh, I've bugs go like house, crazy. You get yeah. bugs coming in now because the moisture pulls them out. So, you know, a good home defense, something like this right here, mm -hmm. is excellent to use. Um, this one also has the battery powered uh, um, oh, spout really? on it, so you don't have to pump it. You can just use the batteries, flip the wand up spray your bugs. I always hit the perimeters, my door jams, my oh, window nice. sills, anything around the house that you're going to think they're going to crawl in through. And that'll help get them away. You don't have to spray yeah. the bug directly. You have to just keep yeah, it. Yeah, it's just it's just like, don't come there. close to here. It's like a rattlesnake rattling. It's like, just back off. Yeah, exactly. You know, don't come in exactly. here. Exactly. Yeah, that's really neat. And it straps back in there, so you've always yeah. got your little sprayer. Another one of my favorite tools is this guy right here. It's called a hula hole. And it's great for rocks oh, I or, love those. or uh, decomposed granite. Yeah. Uh, anywhere like that, you can just kind of shuffle it a little bit. It gets underneath the weed and it pops it up. Pulls it up. So, and, and well, it let me see. We are like out of time. You have so many cool things, though. Just tri hedge trimmers, hoses, you name it. Get on into Prescott True Valley right there Absolutely. on Miller Valley and find out whatever you need. Thank you, Tom Toad. Thank you. Wow. All right, don't go away. We're going to be right back with that secret about the painting by Da Vinci. The Last Supper will be back. He started at the bottom and he works way up now. He's never gonna stop until he